Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Chelsea. Okay, so last night when I went to Target, the sweatshirt wasn't the only thing that I got from Chelsea. Ah! <laughs> it's Christmas. See, but it's short sleeve. Okay, so when we were when we were looking around, she really liked this shirt and she was going on and on about it. And I was like, oh well, you know, like you just said, it's not long sleeve or anything like that. But I don't think Chelsea has a whole lot of like Christmassy shirts. And when I went back last night, I realized it was on sale. You're stretching the neck. <laughs> Why? Stretches don't every stretch single the neck. neck. <laughs> so it's stitched and it says up to snow good so it's a cute little Christmas shirt and I thought you could maybe wear a long sleeve shirt yeah. underneath it to make it warm but I'm like I cannot think for the life of me if she has Darn. any we went to Target yesterday and I was supposed to look for a Christmas shirt and totally forgot Christmas shirt yeah like I bought I bought a sweatshirt at Old Navy and it, I can't remember it was a Santa Claus and said ho 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 or something on it. Oh, but like the sweatshirt, it, there was no stretch to it. Like a sweatshirt, if you're supposed to be nice and baggy and roomy, it would not stretch at all. Like I couldn't get in or out of it. So I, I thought, took that back and then we, we were going to go over to Target and I was going to look for like, like a ugly, Christmas sweatshirt. Yeah. Well, not necessarily not, an ugly, just a Christmas Funny. themed something to wear. And I totally forgot when we were there. What did you do in the men's section the whole time you were there then? Uh, I was looking at long underwear, like base, oh. la base layer stuff to get more of that. Because I thought that's why, because I have 40% nope. off the ugly Christmas in my cart my cartwheel. Or I guess I need whatever. to go shopping online. First uh, baking. Experience. Surprise. Experiment. <laughs> so I'm making Ch Chelsea's healthy blueberry muffins that she likes. I've been meaning to make them since we moved in because we haven't had any in a while. I use coconut oil. But is it just like the it's, top layer is hard? No, it, it's solidified. Okay, so like- It fro? <laughs> no, no, because, okay, down in Florida, it's, it's hot all the time. And so this would be just like runny and I'd have to stir it up and kind of mix it all together every time I used it. It's not like that anymore because it's, it's cold here it's not frozen it's just it's a colder climate so it's not watery or separated like it usually is so i was just like i opened it up and i was like oh yeah that makes sense <laughs> all right we're gonna try the no twist we're back the to the ice, ice cube saga the continues. saga of the ice cube trays so we're gonna try no twist and just see if it'll pop out by pushing on it okay so here's what happened uh-huh how do they do that in TV? Like last week. Last week. <laughs> okay, so I was going to put the tray in, and I said, "Whoa, well, if the top's on, the water's not going to spill." And I told you and it would. I started wouldn't... leaning, tilting. I'm doing two things at once: opening the drawer and tilting this. And the next thing you know, water just starts gushing out. Next thing you know, <laughs> Holly was right when she said, "This lid doesn't stay on." And no. so it did. I if you plus. It around, yeah, it's not gonna come out. But like, if you just I, all I did was tilt it sideways and it came running out. To be fair, out to be fair, I do think you overfilled it too. Well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so you were wanting to just. Try I was wanting push to just see if they would work if you just push it, push the silicone part. Oh, but you also overfilled it though. Yeah. So that's kind of not fair <laughs> for the product. But no. Yeah, cause see. No. Find one that I'm, you didn't I'm overfill. Just, no. It's, it's, uh, that rubber is no, wait. solid. Let me see. You no. do it. Uh, look, okay, I'm trying to find one that's not overfilled because you overfilled them. This one's not you overfilled. You try pushing on that rubber. Oh, oh my gosh. Not so easy, is it? Yeah, well. See? Oh, they're solid. They're so, they're I don't flexible silicone. I think it's made the way you think it's made to be used. I think the rubber just helps it release easier. So you can just kind of. Not yeah. so you can just pluck them out because it but is. But you still have to do the twisty twisty. Yeah. But I think the fact that it's rubber on the bottom, it just makes it release easier. You, you can't. You them too full and I no. can't even twisty twisty. Oh, twisty twisty. Twisty twisty. 
I will twisty twisty. I'm just saying. <laughs> I still feel. You can't pluck it out on the I bottom. I still feel as though it's a little unfair to the product because I think you overfilled them. And maybe it would have been no. easier if. It, oh my God. Oh, look. Oh, look. What am I looking at? Well, yeah, because they were released now. You twisted it. And now it, but it's like completely soft now. It's completely hard. And now it's completely yeah, soft. Yeah, I think it's just, just the means to release easier. Oh, that's kind of a real problem. Okay, well, but <laughs> anyways, I think that's kind of a fail. So we are gonna try this other one we bought, which actually has a sealing silicone it says top on the directions you fill it and then you take you you know on a flat surface you run your finger along see how it's like light and then you're creating that suction with your finger which i'm like mesmerized by this by the <laughs> way i'm like this makes it kind of fun so you kind of go around the edges with your finger which i guess that's taking your time you know, to have to go around and do that. But then you're supposed to literally be able to put this in the freezer sideways or up to 45 degree angle. What's a 45 degree? That. So like that? Yeah. yeah. So you're supposed to be able to put it in your freezer okay. like this. We're not gonna try that. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's the fact. We have to try No, it. but it's the fact we can put water in this and put this down. And if you do tilt it like this by accident when you're it's putting it in the freezer, it's probably not gonna spill out the side like that one did. I will say $2.99 or $3.99 at Target, and that was like $12, but it was on clearance. $7 on clearance. It was on clearance for seven, so I mean. Okay, fill it up. And I think I might like the shape of that. Yeah. Like those are big square ones, where these are gonna be a little bit more smaller, not long that ones. We eat them. Not, that we, not that it really matters though. So now we have to do the voila. In you go. So after I seal it, you're wanting me to tilt it. Tilt it. Like Let's see what happens. Sink. All right. So 40, I'm going up to a 45 degree angle. Ready? Okay. Oh, I'm going to put this in my fridge. Oh, I'm being like Mike and doing two things at <laughs> once and spilling everywhere. Oh, oh, well, I'm out of room. Uh, now, wait. That was the extra that was on the ledge. That's okay. Look. It's staying. Oh. <gasps> That there was extra water in this little lip, so that's what that is. Well, pain, I think we've, no ar mind. we've already proved it'll work because when you started to do this to it, it stayed in. Even the water that was around the ledge oh, wait, stayed in. There is water in there still, right? Yeah. Dude, I'm impressed. He heard mommy, and so he ran in to see me. Oh, he heard you. He heard me. I thought he hurt you. I'm like, what did he do to you? No, he heard me. He comes poking around. At night, he likes oh, to yep. get scratching. It's grunting. We don't have a couch to snuggle on yet. He did snuggle with me on the on the love sack. He wants scratchings. He like lifts his leg like under here. He snuggled with me on the love sack last week when we like when we first moved in. And he'll snuggle in bed with me. But we don't have a couch to snuggle on. Yet. Two weeks. Two weeks? Two weeks from tomorrow. We should tentatively have a date set so, for a couch. So we did order a couch. Did we mention this? No, I don't think we actually did. <laughs> we did order. I don't even know if we showed it. But we ordered a couch. and It'll be a surprise. <laughs> you'll see when it gets... <laughs> Here. We were kind of, it's kind of misleading because the company, the guy when we talked to him was like, oh, well, like if you can pick it up, you could maybe even get it the same week. And we we're like, that'd be awesome. We'll just go rent a trailer or borrow Michael's dad's trailer and we'll come get it and we'll have a couch till like it's done, you know? And then Michael ended up ordering it online and then now he's like, um, yeah, it's not going to be here for like two, or we're not going to go get it. Yeah. Two or three. We're still gonna have to go get it. At the earliest. <sighs> so it could even possibly be more delayed. Don't even. Two weeks, Ed. And we were kind of <laughs> we were kind of under the impression that we could get it like this week. And how awesome would that hey, be? Hey, two weeks is better than three, three months. months. Yeah, because most places, like everywhere we went, they're like, Oh, it's we're so far behind and it's gonna probably be like, you know, three what, six to eight weeks. <laughs> <laughs> 
Must be itchy. It's been really itchy since we moved here. Dry skin, dry air. Dryness. So anyway, and the, it, what the other thing that I, I was gonna mention that's funny is like these furniture places are running sales like crazy. You're like come buy stuff. <laughs> you can buy it. We you just can't get like, it. <laughs> take your money but you know you might get your couch in like three or four months maybe like if you're lucky and it's like serious 